Jim, Vitality Blast 29 season is almost upon us. A pretty exciting time for the Bears. Yeah, it's an ex exciting time of year, really. Um, we always get really good crowds at Edgebaston. Hopefully that's the case this year. Uh, I'm really excited about the competition ahead. Away from the T20, it's been a long kind of road trip for the lads in the county championship. Is it almost a, an opportunity to kind of remove the shackles and play freely and enjoy some cricket? Yeah, it's been a, it's been a tough five weeks for the guys, you know, been on the road. It'll be great to come back to Edgebaston, you know, see Cookie again back at, back at the fortress. Um, and yeah, the guys are really excited about that, that form of the game. We'll have a couple of guys who haven't played in these five weeks and hopefully they'll bring their energy to, to the group. And uh, the guys who've been involved, uh, you know, really ready to play some white ball cricket. Paul Firebase has come in. He was a part of the World Cup squad that's played an entertaining brand of cricket and just won the Rookie World Cup. Has he kind of given any input in what he would like from the guys ahead of that campaign? Yeah, I mean, well, firstly, you should be very proud of what that England team achieved. You know, he was part of that setup that, that sort of reignited English cricket in, in terms of their white ball, um, white ball stuff. And yeah, in terms of the chats that we've had, um, as difficult as the RL50 competition was for the guys, uh, I think they learn a lot from that competition. And I think also that it puts them in much better position now going into the T20s to hopefully bring those skills that they've learned um, and, and put on a good show for, for the home crowds. Ashton Agar's coming, he's the overseas, he'll join with Cheating Patel. There's obviously going to be a lot of spin as well with Alex Thompson who showed great glimpses last year. Is that something that excites you as well in the middle overs? Yeah, it does. It, it gives us options, which I think is really important. You know, we have, we have spin into the right-handers and away from the right-handers. And uh, yeah, we, we're looking at the makeup of that team um, and you know, hopefully that we can, we can produce wickets and, and those wickets in certain positions of the ground to, to allow us to play those spinners. Um, and if that allows us to keep teams to pass scores, and, you know, I think we, we have the batting, the potential batting there to, to chase those down. It's certainly a mix of everything. We've still got a pilot top of the line, an explosive hitter. Ollie Stone and Henry Brooks able to bowl 90 mile an hour. There's a lot of wealth of tools in the squad. So that must excite you ahead of the campaign. Yeah, I think a combination of spin and real pace, I think it's a, a great combination in T20 cricket. We've seen that globally, you know, how, how much A spinners get into the game, but also, you know, having the, uh, the pace to put batters on the back foot uh, and use your skills. Um, but it'll be a case, you know, as it has been this season of, of trying to keep those guys on the park. You know, hopefully, you know, compare it to last year's competition. We lost, you know, Brooksy and Stoney for large parts of that tournament. Um, and we, we really struggled to, to fill that hole. So if we can keep those guys fit uh, and obviously keep our spinners bowling really well, um, it hopefully puts us in a good position to keep teams, you know, uh, under control.